you are looking at what may be the most energy efficient building in the country. I know that sounds like a bold statement, but it's as best we know it's true. This office environment is controlled mostly by the climate and lit almost exclusively with daylight. The heat from today, the heat from the sun, has been captured in the thermal mass of the concrete wall, delayed and then allowed to enter the building later tonight. And that is how a building makes energies. It essentially captures the energy of the climate. The building is considered to be a living laboratory and the performance of the building uh, in some ways has even, I think, surpassed what we anticipated. Dozens of solar collectors, concrete walls and awnings direct sunlight where and how it's needed. So we're looking at um, the uh, south facing exposure. All the south facing windows have been carefully sized so that they let in just enough daylight. And as the sun goes over the south side of the building, they bounce light up into the space and up across the ceiling plane and then back down onto the workstation so that we don't have to turn on the lights um, during the workday. In fact, each worker is allowed only 55 workstation watts. There was a learning curve at first, but I absolutely love working in this building. The natural daylighting provides enough light for me to, to get my work done at my computer 98% of the time. Each desk has a 6 watt LED lamp just in case it's needed. Indoors, it stays about 70 degrees. Otherwise, employees get an on screen alert. And it'll say, please close your window. If there are windows open, it'll say, please close your window. Or, you know, they're still working on getting it just right. You can't make everybody happy. But everyone is pleased with performance. Minute by minute monitoring indicates so far this year the building has made more energy than it's used. I'm Alex Kane reporting.